Hello, my name is Dennis Peterson, Superintendent of Schools. We're very proud of the work we do in Minnetonka Public Schools. We believe that our job of educating children and adults, providing activities, programs, classes, and events for students of all ages strengthens our district and our community. By any measure of excellence, Minnetonka schools excel at all levels. Today we are celebrating special members of our community who have contributed to making Minnetonka community education and this great district what it is today. I want to congratulate our Community Education Hall of Fame inaugural inductees, Lynn Johnson, Jim Jones, and Lois Darby. Thanks to each of you for all the many contributions you have given us. I will now turn it over to Executive Director of Minnetonka Community Education, Tim Litvin. Thank you, Dr. Peterson. Hello, my name is Tim Litvin, and I am the Executive Director of Minnetonka Community Education. My staff, the Community Education Advisory Council, and I are very excited to initiate this long overdue recognition of outstanding individuals. We started the process for the beginning of a Hall of Fame in Minnetonka Community Education in 2018. We were so excited to begin the selection process early in 2020 and then have the major celebration in April of 2020. Well, we all know what happened and what continues to get in the way of our everyday life. However, we flex and we adapt as good people do, which is exactly what these three honorees have done their entire careers, which is one of the reasons why we are recognizing them today. In 2020, we proudly recognized three individuals. However, there were nine excellent nominations for this inaugural 2020 class of the Minnetonka Community Education Hall of Fame. The selection committee poured over all applications and in the end, chose Lynn Johnson, Lois Norby, and Jim Jones. Minnetonka Community Education Leadership and the Community Education Advisory Council have decided that this formal recognition will be celebrated every two years. The next time we will honor a group of Hall of Fame members will be in one and a half years. Therefore, please begin considering someone that you believe may be worthy of this high honor. We will begin recruiting nominations early in 2022 for the class of 2022. Thank you, and now let's hear from the three honorees. Lynn Johnson has been an awesome supporter of Minnetonka Community Ed for many, many years, and I'm thrilled to nominate her for our Hall of Fame. She has been on our advisory council since 2004, helping to support the many initiatives we have happening in Minnetonka for our community. And she's been instrumental in the success of many of our large events, including our youth triathlon, which will be going into its 16th year this year. She helped plan and start that event the very first year. Um, and she continues to be a huge supporter of Tour de Tonka from the very beginning hosting one of our largest rest stops in Orono that has over 2,500 riders that come through. She provides them an awesome experience and dedicates lots of her time and her recruits her family to help um, to help make that a great event. So we love having Lynn involved and you always will find her with a bright smile, a positive comment, um, and looking for any way she can help support our community. When I got here and I looked at the pictures and the other um, uh, the Hall of Fame nominees, uh, I stand among giants. Um, Lois Norby, uh, I remember we had kids in high school together. I don't think I attended a fundraiser or an administrative meeting where Lois wasn't either on the committee or she chaired it. Jim Jones, Jim Jones was the first community ed director that I really got to know. If there was anything going on in the community, he'd say, yep, for sure, I'd be there. Um, he helped with the uh, 4th of July race, doing aid stations. I even tapped him for an aid station for the Twin City Marathon, which he arrived with, uh, with lemonade and cheerleaders. He was, it was always, how much can I do? And then there's Tim. Tim, it, it's, it's community, 
it's leadership, it's passion. Not only does he exhibit those in his professional life, <clears throat> but he also leads his personal life that way. He hires to those standards. His staff is phenomenal. You have only to attend a class, get involved with ELL, Explorers, um, youth sports, the senior, uh, <clears throat> senior programming, uh, the, the youth triathlon, which he started, certainly the 4th of July, and thank you, Tim, for assuming that legacy, or the famous uh, Tour de Tonka, to see why Minnetonka Community Education is a giant and a leader, not only in our district, but in the region, in the state, and with national awards. So thank you, Tim. Thank you to the staff. Thank you to my community, Excelsior. Thank you to the board. And this is not an award for one, but I accept this and I share it with you all. Thank you. It's my pleasure to introduce Lynn Johnson and to award Lynn Johnson as one of the three inaugural inductees to the Minnetonka Community Education Hall of Fame. This is a pleasure. And Lynn, you get the first award today and look at this beautiful plaque. It'll be hung at the Minnetonka Community Education Center for the next year and a half. So Lynn only gets to hold it for a little while today and then we're gonna take it right back and mount it in our building. She will get it, of course, in a year and a half. But Lynn, congratulations. Thank you, Tim. And then we also have for all the uh, honorees today, a uh, jacket of their own that they'll take home. It says Hall of Fame, Minnetonka Community Education, Class of 2020 with their name, and then the Community Ed logo on the back. So they get two prizes today, which they very much deserve. Thank you, Lynn. I want to introduce Lois Norby to you. Lois and I became acquainted almost immediately after she was employed within the Community Services Organization. And how long I had wanted to have someone fill a position like she filled so adequately for 22 years. You see, we had a situation where the school administrators and teachers were sort of thought of over here independently, and then we had the community over here, and they worked together only in the sense that they both worked with kids. But the fact is, we needed their help in the schools and they needed to know about the schools because they were going to be voting on a lot of tax issues over the years. In fact, we had 11 referendums in 22 years raising taxes for new buildings and remodeling buildings and for uh, expenses in a school setting. And all but two passed. And one of the reasons is that Lois Norby, who was hired as a volunteer coordinator, and she soon changed that title to Partnership in Education, and that's a perfect title, and it actually became adopted as a title for a statewide organization, and other schools began to adopt it. And at the national level, all states established um, a, a part of this national organization, Partners in Education, and Lois fit that perfectly, because whenever we needed to have someone work on a committee or help out discerning what new policy we might develop. She was there to suggest people from the community. She knew the community better than anyone else I knew, and she was right there to help us out. And so when I look back now and think of someone who might well fit this, this excuse me, this uh, high honor, uh, hall of appreciation and honor, Lois Norby came to my mind and is still a perfect fit as far as I'm concerned because she became the president of the State Association of Partners in Education and the national organization, which goes to prove that not only we appreciate her services, but our state and the country at large. Jim Jones had a vision for what a district-wide school volunteer program could be in Minnetonka. I am grateful that he selected me to implement that vision. During the, my career at Manitonka Community Education, Jim was my leader, my mentor, my friend. He was a dynamic leader for community ed. Thank you for this award.
It is my pleasure to award our second Minnetonka Community Education Hall of Fame honoree, and that's Lois Norby. Uh, Lois is very deserving from the many years working on staff at Community Education, and so many people remember her fondly and very, very well. And we do this day also. And so, Lois, thank you for everything you've done for us, and we welcome you into the new Minnetonka Community Education Hall of Fame. That's for you, Lois. Thank you. You're welcome. And then we also have a nice jacket for Lois as well. So her and Lynn will have matching jackets. So when you see them around town, now you know what they're going to be wearing. Congratulations, Lois. Jim Jones had a vision for what lifelong learning could be in the Manitonka school community. He knew how to pull together the community leaders to make that vision happen. He worked collaboratively. He knew how to think outside the box. No, no idea it was too wild for Jim to consider. He trusted his people. He made it fun to work with him. You didn't realize how hard you were working when you worked for Jim because it was always fun. And above all else, Jim was a humble leader. Uh, my name is Marty McGlasson, and I was fortunate enough to serve on the, as a community representative to the uh, Community Education Advisory Council. And I will say those meetings were always a pleasure to attend because Jim made them so. And um, I think I'd like to call him Gentleman Jim. He always had a presence about him. And um, when Jim and Mary arrived in the community, I think they quickly got an idea of the pulse of the community and it began to develop Jim's ideas for community education along with his very adept staff. And so I'd been on the advisory council for a number of years and made a lot of friends there and learned to appreciate community education. I started working for Jim Jones in 1988. He was one of the most creative, innovative people I had ever met. He encouraged his staff to implement and innovate new programs all across the community and then helped us see that they always happened. He would throw out ideas and I would think, how am I ever going to get this done? And sure enough, Jim was behind the scenes making sure things would fall into place as we worked our way through the projects. Jim's favorite part of community ed was the advisory council. He innovated programs with them. He helped them work on problems. He gave them purpose. And then he made sure that the staff followed up on their recommendations. <clears throat> Jim was the best boss I ever had. He told me once he never worked a day in his life. It was all so much fun. I loved working for Jim. And I am so glad he won this award. Congratulations. Our third honoree this year in 2020 is Jim Jones. Jim was the first community education director here in Minnetonka, and he also joins Lois and Lynn as the inaugural class for the Minnetonka Community Education Hall of Fame. So Jim and his wife Mary are not able to be here today, but we certainly welcome them and we honor them with this plaque. Congratulations, Jim.